Welcome to Aces Triple T's episode two. Today we'll be going over the top 10 takeaways of the book, The One Thing. For those of you who don't know what this channel is about, it's a channel that we've made for the folks that don't have a lot of time to read. What we're doing is we're summarizing the top of the top self-development books and 10 takeaways within 10 minutes for you to listen to and apply to your life. I want to help you use the book the same way the book helped me improve my life. So the rules are pretty simple today. Be in a peaceful, quiet area and get ready to take notes and for your life to transform. Takeaway number one. Instead of coming up with a hundred things to change about your life, always narrow it down to one thing. When we think of so many things, what we do is we clutter our minds and we make the task a lot harder than it really is. When you narrow it down to just one thing and focus, you can start making movements and improvements. So for your business life, for your personal life, for your family, for your spiritual, for everything, narrow it down to one thing that you could improve and change in each category. So the action item here is simple. Write down a list of everything that you want to change and improve in your life as far as business, your personal goals, your family goals, your financial goals, your spiritual goals. Then narrow down each topic with just one thing, the main thing, that you want to start improving right now. Go ahead and pause the video and try that out. Takeaway number two, line up your goals like dominoes. Each one has energy and has potential to knock down bigger energy. Life doesn't line things up for us, so what successful people do is they're good at picking the right priority and whacking away until the first domino falls. So the action item here is simple. Out of the list that you came up with of things you could improve in your life in the last takeaway, I want you to narrow it down to just one action item, which is a domino, that you could start with that could start the effect and start knocking down other dominoes. So write down what that action item is, and I want you to start doing that right away. Takeaway number three. The one thing is not only for your goals, but it could be applied to everything in your life. Even for your passions and mentors. Have one passion that you focus on over the rest, and have one mentor that you lean on over the rest. If I'm passionate about playing guitar, uh, playing piano, and singing, it's going to be hard for me to master those things because there's too many things that I'm working on at the same time. However, if I narrow it down to just playing guitar, and I simply focus on just guitar for the next year, I guarantee you by the end of the year I'll be an expert at guitar. So your action item is this. Write down everything you're passionate about and narrow it down to just one thing to focus on for the next year so you could actually master something and not clutter your mind. Same thing for your mentors. Write down everybody that inspires you and narrow it down to just one mentor that you can lean on over the rest that's gonna move you the most. Write this down now and apply it to your life right away. Takeaway number four. To-do lists are a staple of the time management system and should never be used. Instead of a to-do list, use a success list. A list solely focused on being successful. How many times have you written down a long to-do list, you cross it off and you feel good at the end of the day? But at the end of the day, what did you really accomplish? Sometimes to-do lists are just easy tasks that we want to just cross off. Have you ever had a success list? Have you ever thought about what makes you successful throughout the day? The action item is this. Write down your to-do list for tomorrow, whatever that may be. After you write it down, crumble it up and throw it away. Then what I want you to do is write down a list of things you can do tomorrow to be successful. I want you to go on throughout your day tomorrow and only go by that success list and see how it goes for you and see how it moves your life. I guarantee you that by doing this, you'll start focusing every single day on only things that make you successful and you'll realize that a lot of things on your to-do list really shouldn't even be there or are a waste of time for us to do. Try that out and let me know how it goes. Takeaway number five. Multitaskers are proven less successful than people that focus on one thing at a time. When your brain is in the flow of focus, never ruin it by switching tasks to multitasking. Time block everything you do and put 100% energy and effort into the one thing you're doing. There is no action item here, but I want you just to sit back and reflect. Have you ever multitasked and something went wrong? Well, it's because you ruined your flow of focus. Understand that if I'm working on one thing, the more I'm working on it, the more my flow and my focus is going up. The second I switch my task, that flow and that focus just drop back to zero. So why would you ruin your most productive moments by switching tasks or getting distracted? Never multitask again. Takeaway number six. Successful people lead a disciplined life as they lie. We don't need discipline for good. We just need enough discipline to form the right habits. What successful people do is they train on one habit at a time until it becomes ritual. Once it becomes ritual, it becomes like something you do every single day, just like brushing your teeth. So here's your action item. Write down a list of all the habits you want to form in your life. And then start off by picking just one habit that you're going to concentrate on for the next 21 days. 
scientifically speaking, they say it takes 21 days to form a habit. Once the 21 days passes, I guarantee you that you're not going to have to focus on that habit anymore because it's going to become a ritual in your life. So go ahead and pick your first habit and start your 21 day challenge now. Takeaway number seven, willpower is like battery on your phone. People think it's limitless and fail. Do your most important thing, the first thing in the morning when your willpower is the highest. Throughout the day, if your willpower starts going down, do something that puts you back in the zone that you enjoy and that could recharge your willpower. Once you do that, then you can always stay focused during the day on your willpower and the important things you need to get done. Think about it, for example, have you ever went on a good diet all day? You woke up, you ate your white eggs, you might have ate your greens throughout the day, you drank a lot of water. Then it comes to at night and you get on the TV and you might eat a bag of chips or eat a snack and ruin your whole diet. That's an example of your willpower dying off throughout the day. You may think to yourself, it is easier in the morning to get things done. That's because your willpower is very high. So the action item here is very important and very simple. I want you to write down what your most important thing that you want to accomplish every single day is. Then I want you to schedule it first thing in the morning when your willpower is the highest. Number two part of this action item is write down something that you could do and schedule midday that puts you back in your zone and recharges your willpower. For me, it's as simple as maybe taking a walk outside or meditating. What is it for you? Write those down and start applying it to your life right now. Takeaway number eight. Work-life balance is an idea and nothing more. Anybody that's ever accomplished something extraordinary in their life got extremely out of balance to do it. Understand that to be successful, you must go to reaches that you've never been to before. Your action item here is simple. Write down a scale on a piece of paper. On that scale, I want you to draw balance in the middle. Then I want you to draw yourself at the end of the scale. Understand that if you want to do something extraordinary in your life, you're going to have to get out of balance to do it. You should expect to be out of balance to do it so that way you don't stress about it. To do one thing, you must sacrifice another. Takeaway, takeaway number 10. Yes, we're here at the 10th takeaway. This takeaway here is a question that the book was based on. Now, in part two, which is coming up next, we're going to talk about how to apply the question to your life. But right now, what I want you to do is get a pen and a paper and write down this question as I say it. Here's what the one thing talks about. One question that you could ask yourself and apply to everything in your life. Here it is. What's the one thing that I could do? Such by doing it, everything else will become easier or unnecessary. Again, I'll ask it again. What's the one thing you could do? Such by doing it, everything else will become easier or unnecessary. We're going to talk about this question, how you can plug in different goals and different aspects of your life into it to figure out what your one thing is. Stay tuned for the next 10 takeaways in part two. YouTube family, thank you for watching the top 10 takeaways of The One Thing. I hope you enjoyed the book and you're going to apply it to your life just like I applied it to mine. Like, share, and subscribe to the channel and add me on all social medias. We're doing big things out here for you. Lastly, if you want me to summarize a book, all you got to do is comment down here on which book you want me to summarize and I might choose it for the next one. Any feedback you have is always welcome and it's the Aces.